Yeah, we here. Maryland on the fucking map. Akakik, PG, DMV, SOMD stand all the way up. My nigga Jared Swift heard said the WBC crown is next. So Jamel, Charlo, Tony Harrison, whoever got it, we coming to get it. I say we because this is a we thing. This is the fucking state of Maryland. And this is my motherfucking nigga, Jared Hurd. Stand all the way the fuck up and let's giddy go. Yo, what the fuck is good, fight fans? It's your man, 3K the Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Hands Up. Five, five. You know what the fuck this is, man. And this is the Two Hands Up show. And yo... I pushed all that shit on pause. Let all the other fucking outlets get theirs out. Because I'm firing this one from the hip. It means more when it's coming from fucking me. Because this my motherfucking nigga. My man. The PBC's last air bender. Last style bender. Fucking last fucking hope. Jared Swift. Motherfucking her. Man, look, man. My nigga Swifty got a match going on tonight against the nigga Julian J. Rock Williams. Now, you know what I mean? We could talk about all the little analytics of the boxing match, but let's be serious, man. J. Rock is a good fucking boxer. He's a top prospect, but against the other guys that are champion, he could probably be the um Jaime Manguia. That's probably it. You know what I'm saying? But he can't see my nigga Jared Hurd. Facts. And I fucks with Philly. I fucks with Philly heavy. Shout out to my 76ers, man. But at the end of the day, man, Jared Hurd, y'all can sit up there and say, my nigga don't got no defense. Y'all can sit up there and say, yo, he get hit too much. Y'all can say all of that bullshit you want. But since when do it matter when a nigga get hit when it don't mean shit about the shit he throwing at you? You feel me? Man, my nigga's the Terminator. He comes straight forward. You can hit that nigga. You can drop a fucking Brinks truck on his fucking head. You can bust that nigga with a bat. Do anything to DMV niggas. But we still power through. Keep moving. So basically what I'm saying is, you saw how Tony Harrison fought him, right? You saw, you know what I'm saying? You saw how Laura fought him. What could them niggas do? They got dragged into the late rounds, made it look all extra sexy with the movements, pause, and all of that other shit. But let's be serious. All of that boxing skill they had can't stop that bully fighting Marvin Hagler head mentality and fucking power that he got. You talking about a Super Saiyan? You talking about a Super Saiyan to a motherfucking Pokemon? Come on, man. This Squirtle. Man, this Squirtle versus Charizard. This Squirtle versus Vegeta. However the fuck y'all want to call it, man. This nigga ain't evolved enough as far as manhood. This nigga Jared is just too fucking big. He too fucking big, man. He's too big. You're not going, it's not going to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to say it's going to go like this. Julian going to bounce around the room. He's going to box great. But the hand speed is going to keep up. He's not going to throw the large barrage of punches that you could do to actually do damage to Jared Hurd. Because that's one thing that's impossible to do that nobody's been able to show me that you can get done to do damage to him. So all of that shit about he need to work on this, he got holes in his game, this and that. Look, I know, you know what I'm saying? I know the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know niggas on his team. You know what I mean? Shout out to Flick. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Doc. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas is actually in his corner. You know what I mean? I got to see these niggas all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm act, Like I said, I got big shit coming in the works. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, we're going to keep this about Jared Hurd. All right, so basically, you know what I'm saying? The article is going in. He said, you know, he's out to become undisputed. You know what I mean? So he wants to grab all of the belts at 154. You know what I mean? So he's out for... um. So that means, so that just leaves, you know what I'm saying? He coming for the WBC. 
how Mimanguia, man, don't stand a fucking chance. So I'm not even going to mention him, especially how Dennis Hogan beat his ass all the way the fuck up in the zone. Y'all need to check y'all judges, fire a few people, because it's fucked up what y'all did to Dennis Hogan, man. Niggas put their lives on the line, y'all just going to rob him like that because he don't look like the marquee guy. And how Mimanguia got a whole fucking country behind him with Mexico. But if anybody know anything about Irish fans, them niggas go dumb for their champions. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that was some fuck shit. Behind me, Manguia don't got the power or can't put out the workload. Nobody's big enough to stop this nigga, man. It's like Jason. You can stab this nigga. You can chop him. You can hit that nigga with a fucking axe. You can fucking run him over with a car. You can do all of that shit. That nigga's just going to keep coming. That's why I call him fucking Jared T2. You know what I'm saying? Jared T2 fucking herd, man. Because he's a fucking Terminator. That nigga is T-1000, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the bad bitch, and fucking um, T-3. All of them motherfuckers in one, man. This is just the beginning for the fucking road we traveling on. Because once we grab up all of this shit, we moving all the way the fuck up. Basically, to sum it up, Charlo don't stand a chance. He going to load up on the power all night, but we going to be in this fucking chest. It's hard to be front foot dominant when you got a dominant nigga standing across the ring from you. And you scared of him. All of these niggas going to dodge their work. You know what I mean? Everybody. Nobody wants to man up and fight him. And all the niggas that say they want to fight him, you see what happened to him when he get in the ring? They knock him the fuck out. Whether it's coming early, it's coming late. It's coming. Because all of the punches you can throw, all you going to do is hurt yourself trying to hurt him. Because he's going to hurt you. Man, fucking Jared Hurd got the sauce, man. Julian J. Rock Williams is a fucking magnificent boxer. I take nothing away from him. He is a top prospect coming out to Philly. Shout out to him. But, dog, I'm telling you, he's going to walk my fucking Jared Hurd. He's going to walk him through the round, and he's going to get slept from 6th to the 12th round. He's going to get knocked out between the 6th through the 12th. I promise you that. I promise you that. And this fight is live on Fox tonight. Y'all need to watch my nigga, Jared fucking Hurd. If you don't know who the fuck that is, that's Mr. Get the Bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't sing, man. But that's Mr. Get the Motherfucking Bag, man. And this fucking Maryland, this the DMV, and this my fucking Swifty Nation, man. So y'all stand the fuck up, man. Jared Hurd don't have nothing to prove. He the only guy in the PBC rounding up the belts. I know y'all seen the vlog I did where I said all of these niggas over the PBC Ain't none of these niggas unified champions and going for it except Jared Hurd taking all the fucking fights. Now, Jared Hurd is the same nigga who beat fucking Laura, Iris Landry Laura, and fucking really Laura beat Canelo. So what does that say about Jared Hurd? Niggas want to stay away from Jared Hurd. Niggas don't call out Jared Hurd. And the one nigga that called out Charlo, man, he be blowing some um, hot air, man. Fucking the other Charlo, what? He called out fucking Danny Jacobs. You know what I'm saying? Did he do that? Nah. Because when that nigga pulled up on him, he ain't had that same energy. We all know the Charlos don't got the same energy when real big dogs is in the room, man. Like I said, Jerry Hurd is the elephant in the fuck. Fuck the elephant in the room. He the elephant in the ring. Because that nigga got them heavy fucking hands and he's going to trunk the fuck out whoever he get in there with. Man, it's hard to stop an immovable fucking force, man. Freight train fucking her on the fucking way. Man, DMV stand the fuck up. I can't wait. And I don't never say this shit about the PBC. I can't wait to watch this motherfucker fight tonight and watch my nigga Swifty do. And if all y'all niggas doubt him, I guarantee y'all gonna stop after night because who the fuck else does this nigga gotta beat? What belt does he have to grab at arguably one of the toughest fucking divisions in boxing? What belt does this nigga have to grab for y'all to respect? Ain't nothing at that fucking weight class that can do it, man. Y'all might as well just hurry up, get knocked the fuck out, let him grab the belts, move up, and fight everything up there. I'm talking about Andre, fucking Canelo, fucking um, DJ. I mean, talking about Andre, Canelo, and the rest of them niggas, man. Like, anyway, man. Jerry Heard. Good luck tonight, my nigga. Um, man, I should still go to the fight. I might not be there tonight, even though I'm supposed to be there. Um, but I might have to watch this one from the couch, man, comfortably, man. Anyway, man, it's the Two Hands Up show. As we always say before we close this joint out, it costs you nothing to pay a nigga no mind. Jerry Swift, her undefeated, unified champion of the world, representing my home, my state, my everything, Maryland. Let's get it go. Respect, though.